Hi guys, my name is Jonathan. Uh, I'm working with Connects, a construction technology company to help the small contractors do their takeoffs and estimating. So it's just to, to help you guys out. So over the years, we've come across a million ways to do things. So what I said I'd do is just put some of our uh, best practices down on paper or up on YouTube as it were, and run you through some of the best things to do for your drywalling takeoff, plastering, jib rocking, kind of, they're, they're all the same. They uh, have a million different names, but it all kind of works out the same in the end. Um, so what I'm going to do is just run through the five best tips uh, we've come across for your drywalling takeoff and estimate and how to submit a professional bid and win more work. So in another video we covered it kind of what you should do when you receive plans from your, your contractors. Uh, so we won't labor the point too much here but look first thing you should do when you receive a set of plans to, to quote or bid on is just get back to the contractor and let them know the time frame uh, you're going to come back to them for with, with your own quote. Um, it's just best practice, it's good, everybody kind of knows where they stand on, on the job then. So if there is uh, updates in drawings or if they're under a bit of time pressure, they can get in touch with you pretty quickly uh, if they know that you're interested in quoting the job. The next thing, which is a really good practice to do, is familiarize yourself with the job. Obviously, a couple of benefits to this, what you'll be able to do is instinctively you'll know if you receive a set of plans, you know, this is going to be a $10,000 uh, drywalling job or it's going to be a $100,000 drywalling job. So by familiarizing yourself with the plans, you just, you'll know where your quote or your bid is going to end up. So two ways to do that. You can upload them to Connects, uh, or put up two screens. If you've got a good home office, I know a lot of people are set up really well these days, or if you don't have that uh, luxury, you just print off a set of plans, you know, A4. And what you can do then, and what we really encourage people to do is just go over it with uh, a fine tooth comb and make sure that you're comfortable with everything that you're being asked to quote, what materials uh, is required for the job, uh, and all of the like, kind of niggly things that could trip you up at the end of the day. So whether you've got it written down or if it's in a Word document or maybe you've got an Excel template done out, best thing to do is just have your checklist and, and go through that and, and then look at it on the plans even before you start your takeoff. So what you can do, for example, uh, you know, uh, all the finishes, your internal, external angles, just note them off as you're, you're making that first pass. Uh, are there niches, reveals? That can be tricky as well. Uh, one of the guys who works with us regularly enough, I was having a chat with him and he kind of told me this you know, horror story as it was. It kind of turned out in the end all right, but they were doing um, 2010 houses and they were doing their material takeoff. And when they were doing uh, their uh, drywall and take off on the elevations they couldn't see the reveals and it wasn't noted on the elevations so they completely missed that in their quote now when they went to the ground plans it was there so you know that's kind of one of the examples where it's just a bit tricky that you just if you have that checklist and you check it on the ground plans you'll be able to see it so he submitted a quote and this was for 2010 houses without those reveals so at you know at five hundred dollars give or take kind of per reveal uh, at the entrance you know you know that that's the the guts of 10 grand 20 grand you know it just depends on the job you know and, and it's a portion of the the profit that's going to come out of your pocket at the end of the day if it's something you miss and you haven't allowed for it so definitely that, those checklists and and some of the things you know that we see all the time is that if we go into autopilot it, it can be the worst thing for us we do this a hundred times a year uh, and we know what we're doing but you know there's small things that you're going to miss and then when you see them you kind of kick yourself in in, in the back and, and say well i should have probably got that the next thing to do is, you know, go over your internal and external angles because this will add a degree of complexity or make it a little bit easier, just depending on what's being asked of you. So look at how the ceiling meets the wall. Is it behind a square set or do you have a cornice? Uh, if you've got baseboards, you know, again, this will just determine how you can set your, your plasterboard up against that wall. If you've got those things there, it'll make it a bit easier. If not, again, it's going to take your team a little bit longer maybe to, to finish it to a standard that you're happy with. So all these things, again, they add complexity or again, they take it away. So you can price accordingly and, you know, just make sure that you've got everything boxed off. 
Again, uh, we kind of mentioned a little bit earlier, but go through the acoustic report, uh, go through the fire report. Maybe, you know, it needs to be fire rated. Again, this is just going to add to the cost of your materials and, and should definitely be reflected in your overall bid for the job. So once you've got your material takeoff done and you've got everything accounted for, it's time to submit your bid or your quote. Um, so this is obviously the most important part of this process. You don't want to trip up at the last hurdle. So, you know, the best practices here is to, you know, make one final pass of the plans and just with your highlighters or, you know, on your computer, just list out everything that you've included in the plans, uh, but also it, you can put in everything that's not included. So you just listed out A, B, C, D, haven't been included in this quote. If you want us to price it, let us know. Uh, and, and that way, as I said, once you get on site, there is no kind of uh, hiccups or surprises for anybody involved. Or if the client has changed, uh, you know, their heart at the last minute and decided to move the stairs across the house, you can clearly go back to your quote and say, "Well, this was not uh, allowed for," or you know, in our in our bid. So what we always recommend doing is sending in a quote on you know your company letterhead with your company logo, um, all of your details. It just looks way more professional. And with Connects, you can do that. You can also put in your inclusions and exclusions here, uh, which is obviously very important. And then you can show them exactly what you've done by sending the marked up plans or including the materials that you've done the takeoff for, putting a price beside them, um, and you know just being really clear. This is everything that's been included in the quote. Um, so it, as I've said, it just avoids that confrontation down the road or avoids any confusion. You know, it's a, it's a tight industry. Everybody's looking to make their margin. So it, the most important thing is that you're not getting burnt uh, on your side of the things because you haven't listed something that you never intended to include in the quote. So definitely the more thorough you can be when submitting that, uh, we encourage it. And, you know, you guys should definitely be able to make a good bit of profit off of the jobs which is always, which is what we're about here at Connects at the end of the day. Look, this has just been really quick run through of some of the best practices and some of the things that we've seen. It's definitely not an exhaustive list. We'd love to hear your thoughts or, or how you guys do it where you are. Um, best way to get us if you want to have a chat with us is there's a there's a chat icon in the bottom right of the Connect screen. You know, uh, myself and the team are always here. Love to hear your thoughts and uh, run you through anything, any questions you have on the system or any questions you have in general about quoting on jobs. So look, get in touch. Uh, if you like the video, let us know. Give it a thumbs up. Um, or if you want to see another video, let us know what what, uh, what we, you'd like us to cover going forward.